Hey, you guys, a long time in OC. I have missed you all so, so, so much. You have no idea how many times I have just wanted to just turn this little camera on and just vent for a second because the last week and a half has been absolutely insane. Steve quit his job of seven years years unexpectedly because he had a once in a lifetime job opportunity so our schedules have completely been flipped upside down because of that my dad as you guys know was in the hospital because his heart started having problems again after two different ablations he is home now and everything is going very very well so thank you guys so much for all your prayers and well wishes I do really really appreciate it because I mean my dad I don't talk about him a lot because he isn't like this, but he, he means the world to me. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, um, so yeah, there, it's just been a lot going on. I've got a very big special surprise guest flying in this Wednesday. The kids are on their last two weeks of school right now. So they're doing the state testing and my daughter's got finals in high school and it's just been a crazy mess. But in between all of this craziness, I have somehow managed to go ahead and perform the mold test on the Sol de Janeiro lip butter balm that I got in the BoxyCharm pop-up sale. So if you guys are ready to see what happened with all of that and what the results are, I'm really excited. They're in that bag right there. We're going to take a look at them together right now. So let's get into it. Welcome back, you guys. If you're new here, my name is Alexandra, and this is what we primarily like to do on this channel. We do like to also review and talk about skincare and makeup products, but we love investigating things. And as you guys know, uh, I think it was like a couple of months ago, I purchased a item during the BoxyCharm. I think it was a pop-up or the add-on. I'll put the receipt for it up here. I think I purchased it at the end of January. I didn't get it until February, but I kind of set it off to the side because I wasn't done with my Glow Recipe uh, lip balm that I absolutely love, you guys know. But my girlfriend, Rebecca, she kept telling me that I needed to try the one by Sol de Janeiro. She had gotten one in her BoxyCharm box. She purchased another during the pop-up sale as well. And she was like, you gotta try it. Oh my God, it smooths all the lines on your lips and it just makes everything fabulous and it smells so good. So I went ahead and purchased one so that I would have something because you guys know I've constantly got to have something on my lips. So I set it to the side. I mean, that was just a couple of months ago. There is no reason that it should be expired already and definitely no reason that there should be mold in it. And when I pulled it out a couple of weeks ago to use it, I started applying it and it had a really strong Play-Doh-y smell. You guys know that smell, man. You guys know that smell. And as soon as I started smelling it, I was like, ugh, you know, and I, my lips actually kind of started tingling and burning a little bit. So I am allergic to certain types of mold. Now, I didn't have like a major reaction. My lips were really red and a little inflamed for the rest of that day. Like they were a little swollen, but nothing crazy. I did I do think I got it off my lips quick enough, but you know, I'm not like anaphylactic, you know, uh, allergic to mold. I do, however, have an anaphylactic reaction to bee venom, wasp venom, hornet venom, that kind of thing. I actually have to carry an epinephrine pin in my purse with me at all times. But luckily, as I said, I don't have that type of reaction with mold. It just gives me red bumps. I didn't get any of those. Like I said, my lips were just a little inflamed. So I was like, something was wrong here. So I actually unscrewed, like I took the actual lip butter, which you guys are going to see here in a minute. And I absolutely, and I like, you know, unscrewed it all the way up and I could see like little white, like dots and little like indentions where it looked like almost like mold was forming and was like eating its way into the lipstick or the lip butter. And I looked at Steve and I'm like, I think this has got mold on it. And he's like, no, there's no way. And I'm like, ah, I'm telling you, like it smells like it. It looks like it. So I had him run up and grab me a mold test kit, which you guys are going to see here in just a second. I completely opened it on camera. I did the whole thing for you guys. You guys will see everything. Um, and just to let you know, which I do also mention this as we're performing the test, 
This kit does not test for bacteria. So because I did obviously use it on my lips, this is not going to test for bacteria. It's not going to test for viruses. This agar in this Petri dish only tests for molds. So that means that if there's any other contaminant in there in the potato dextrose agar, nothing else is going to grow in that Petri dish except for mold. So you don't have to worry about any type of uh, like cross contamination and things like that. If there's mo no mold, then nothing will grow. If there is a mold, then you will see growth. And I did let this sit for 48 hours, checked it. You guys will see that check in. I actually just took a picture of it. And then at the 96 hour mark, actually, we're at 120 hours right now. And I have the Ziploc baggie right here. So if you guys are ready to see the test from beginning to end, let's do this. All right, you guys, first things first, let me get some gloves on here. So this is the lip product in question that I purchased from Boxy Charms Pop Up. As you can see, it's where I've used it literally one time. That was the other day. I don't know if you guys can see that on there, those white spots. No, let me see if I can hold this over so you guys can see it. I don't know if that would, yeah, there we go. Let me see. Yeah, that's concerning. Like, I can smell it right now I don't know if you guys can see that but that's pretty that's pretty disgusting I mean like I can smell it really strong I mean it smells like my son's play-doh all right so that is essentially what we are testing so the first thing we have to do is we have to open this mold test kit. Now, I actually have done lots and lots of mold test kits um, at the hospital. So the first thing we're going to have to do is pull out the mixing medium, which is this right here. And it is potato dextrose. That's what you use to grow mold with. Okay, I couldn't remember. So I'm going to set these to the side since they did come with two sterile cotton swabs. And then this is so that we can mail it off, if need be, um, to the lab. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to set up the actual potato dextrose, which is the medium. So what you do is you simply pour this out into your Petri dish. And those are little bubbles. Don't worry about that. It's not going to affect anything. As you can see, they'll start popping. And then you just put a lid on it. And make sure that your service area is super flat. And then we're just going to let that set up. It'll harden and kind of jellify. And then here in about an hour, we can actually do the swab test. All right, you guys. So it looks like our agar plate or our Petri dish here is ready to go. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like after it is gelled up there. So that's what it looks like when it uh, basically hardens. And just in case, I'm just going to go ahead because I'm sure somebody's going to ask down in the comment section. Um, the only thing that this growth medium, which as you guys saw is potato dextrose, the only thing that is going to be able to grow in here is mold. So we're not testing for bacteria. Uh, bacteria will not grow in this Petri dish or agar plate because we would need a different type of growth medium. Depending on the type of bacteria, we would either need a nutrient agar or a soy-based agar. And again, this is potato dextrose, so this is only going to grow types of mold. And of course, because I have used this, we're not going to collect a sample from the end here. We're going to collect it from the side, which as you guys see right here has not been touched by me, my lips, or anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew that right there. And 
so we can get our plate opened up here. And then we're gonna open up the Okay, and then we're going to need to keep these as well, uh, just in case we do decide to send this to the lab. So we're going to want to keep both of these. And when we're done, I'm just going to put them right back on this little paper here. All right, let's go ahead and unscrew the lipstick. And then we're going to try to get as much growth here as we can all right that looks like we got lots of growth so we're gonna put that oh I just split the this um agar growing agent is very very um it's very soft as you can see so I'm gonna try to grab some of this this way and I need more than one hand I'm gonna try to scrape it off onto the medium here without puncturing it okay you guys I think that's enough hopefully that is enough and we're just gonna put the lid on it now and we're gonna set this oh my gosh we are gonna set this up and out of the way and basically we have to check it in 24 hours 48 hours 72 hours all the way up to 96 hours to be sure that there's no slow growing molds that were overlooked um, after an incubation period of 48 to 96 hours um, we can send the petri dish to the lab just to be safe if we want to but I figure if we don't see anything growing by then we should be good again this is not going to grow anything except for molds so if we see any physical growth in here so this is what it looks like now so you guys can see obviously these are lipsticks which let me go ahead and mark those right now so that you guys know those are lipsticks so that is a lipstick that is a lipstick and then obviously we have the ones on the top and then you can see a little bit of lipstick right there so if we see anything growing past those little spots if you see anything black obviously the lipsticks are brown but if we see anything else growing past those spots then we will know that is mold all right okay so that's where we're at i'm going to stop now and then um, i'm going to go ahead and bag these things up just in case we do have mold present. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put these in the bag here because the lab will need those. All right. 
All right, you guys, so let's look at the results of the Sol de Janeiro Lip Butter Balm. Now, I will say it has been two weeks since I performed the actual test in this Petri dish. Now, with that being said, I did take pictures as I was checking it. So here is the picture 48 hours in. I will show you guys right here what the Petri dish will look like. So you can see the little spots where we marked with the black marker where we actually put the chunks of actual uh, like lip butter in there. Like you could definitely see some physical physical growth going on in the petri dish now again this petri dish is not going to show any type of bacteria the only thing that is going to grow in this is actual mold and funguses now i do want to before i put uh open this bag because as you guys could see i did actually i incubated this in my attic upstairs because it's super hot up there and whenever you incubate something you flip the petri dish upside down and then you put it in a warm, dark place. So my attic was the perfect place for that. So let me put this on because I don't need breathing in mold spores and all of that and craziness. Okay, let's open this bag so I can show you guys what it looks like here. So this is what the mold in the Petri dish looks like. Now, again, this has been two weeks so as you can see let me pull the sticker off here there is sorry there's condensation built up because again it was in a warm attic so as you can see there is some definite mold growth i don't want to open it because i don't want spores all over this room but yeah there's some definite i mean it like fully exploded you can see the back right here where this spot is that is where this giant growth is right here so that was one of the main growth places let me turn it here the lid and then you could see where one of these other spots are there is like a big growth right there but of course because this is potato dextrose in here it is going to make everything you know and it's been in here for two weeks it's going to make everything explode a lot more because again it promotes mold and fungus growth so don't think by looking at this that this is what is in that lipstick it's just what you know is growing in a smaller capacity if you take that out and put it in a growing agent however it's going to explode like this because that is essentially what this will probably look like in a few months or if put in the correct conditions like this was in a warm dark place so anyways uh that is all i have for you guys today i really hope you enjoyed today's video and found it very interesting and educating and um i'm definitely going to be contacting boxycharm i've actually already contacted boxycharm about this i have not gotten a response as of yet they are usually pretty slow at getting back to me however but with that said, uh, yeah, I definitely think that at the very least I should get my money back for this. But um, yeah, that's going to be another uh, video for another day. Now, definitely, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do and stick around because we have a lot more coming. We've got the whole Ipsy Glam Bag X debacle that we definitely need to talk about. Um, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I had to say to them. And I basically... I told them to put their money where their mouth is. And um, I think their response was very interesting to say the least. On top of that, I did also start a new YouTube channel, you guys. I know you're like, hold on a minute. You haven't been on your YouTube channel in like a month and you started a new one. The kids are getting ready to be out of school. Uh, yesterday and today was Cadence's last day. And then I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow and then my last COVID shot tomorrow. And then Noah's last day of school is on Thursday. And then in the month of June, we are going to be like full head on. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Um, I've been testing a lot of products for you guys. There's going to be a lot more reviews, story times, get ready with me because I know that some people, that is what they want. So if you want to go ahead and check out that channel, there's nothing on there yet. There will not be anything on there until the first week of June, but it is Alex's Makeup and Mayhem. 
I will put the link down below in the description box, but I'm super excited for starting that new channel. It's just really a way for me to just kind of do a little bit more of what I want without having to deal with the algorithm and everybody on this channel wanting very specific things. Like I feel like I could be a little more myself, share some stories and some, you know, history about me while trying on some makeup and just having some fun reviewing some products. You know what I mean? So that is essentially all that channel is going to be. If you are into that kind of thing, definitely subscribe. If you're not, please don't feel any need to subscribe. Again, I only want people to subscribe to that channel that really would be interested in watching that kind of thing. I don't want to ask you guys to subscribe to both channels because they are going to be two completely different types of content. So anyways, that is all I have for you guys today. I again, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Either way, it helps me out. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do if you like this type of content. If you don't and you just want your reviews and get ready with me, go check out Alex's Makeup and Mayhem. Again, I will have content up starting on the first week of June, which I'm really, really excited for. So until next time, you guys, see ya.